Hey guys, it's time to get fully recharged and powered up with Missile Command Recharged. And wow, this game is, what is it, 30, 40 years old? They brought it back, some cool blue, red, and green, and yellow neon colors. But the, essential, uh, the essentials of the game have remained pretty much the same. You know, if you're got buildings and you've got some uh, command posts that fire missiles and you have to protect the buildings from incoming missiles from either spaceships I'm not sure where but the game is highly addictive I would say this was the most fun I had this week uh, for a one-player game because there's no multiplayer which is understandable but Tutastic has the edge on this game in the multiplayer aspect so if you're looking for a one player experience this was the game of the week for me uh, of all the games uh, I love the sounds I love the throwback and like I love how they updated the game but still kept uh, the original element of the game and there's an upgrade system so you can upgrade the shields uh, the speed and the power of your uh, shots um, you can also uh, faster rebuilding, so if your buildings get shot at. Um, it's kind of like a Tron, like that's what I immediately thought, and I'm sure a lot of people think it feels like a Tron-like version of the original Missile Command. Um, you have a base at the bottom, as I said, and you protect them. Uh, the missiles gradually come in like bigger swarms and waves. There's big missiles, which I don't remember there being in the previous version of Mount Missile Command. And then there's like really tiny missiles, so it's kind of funny. But your explosions, um, they can get enhanced by like different power-ups. And there's like a mega power-up that uh, comes in and like it sort of makes like mega, like sort of like the big bombs in Super Bomberman. And your, your blast radius is crazy. Like I'm talking about two, three centimeters on the screen. So, and then there's a, there's also an upgrade that like clears all the bombs on the screen, which is like super powerful. I guess that's the most powerful one. Then like uh, I think there's like a speed up. Um, yeah, that. Yeah, shields and rapid fire, and yeah, the options are bare bone. Like you change the sound, and so I mean it's not really a game that you play for the options. It's more for like the experience, and. Uh, yeah, like these upgrades really encourage you to keep playing. I feel like if they didn't have the upgrade system there for Missile Command Recharge, like I wouldn't be giving it another try. I would just be like um, that Gyro DX boss game where, uh, yeah, you can get a higher score, but for me and maybe most gamers as well, the higher score without being able to share it or it's not as... Uh, amazing but the upgrade system you start off with like having to earn a thousand points which is super easy to achieve then once you've upgraded certain parts um, your rebuilding your power speed etc uh, it then goes up to 5,000 and I didn't see uh, what happens after level 2 or how many levels you can upgrade but like it's a pretty cool system and it's a neat gimmick that after you die you're like okay I'm gonna keep playing just to upgrade my gear and see how far I can go. So it's a, it's a really easy way to lure you back and to keep playing the game because it's a lot of fun and like yeah it gets easier but then the game gets harder too so it seemed really balanced with like the upgrade system compared to um, you know uh, the difficulty of the game. Um, I found I died really quickly but it didn't bother me as, as you can see like it didn't bother me because you would always be able to upgrade or you'd play another two rounds and then be able to upgrade. Um, at 339 like this is an amazing geo deal for uh, the game that you get. Like 339 for a game that you can potentially play for hours and that's not even on sale that's the regular price. Um, I would immediately buy it I reckon and I, well obviously I have it but um, this and Tube Plastic I would definitely say like are must buys even for the regular price, three, four bucks, it's quite a deal, especially if you're bored this summer and you can't go anywhere because of COVID. Um, yeah, so I definitely choose this one for the one player experience. 
but Two Tastic would be the game of the week for multiplayer if you're focusing on that. But this is like a great uh, way of updating Missile Command, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Like, I think it's the only Missile Command game I've seen on Steam out of thousands of games. So check it out. It definitely recharged my uh, esteem for enthusiasm for this series, and uh, keep on gaming.